let's take a look at a 7474 uh, D flip-flop okay here it is here this uh, this chip has uh, two flip-flops in it one on each side and this uh, CLR that's your clear and then the D is your data and you have a clock line and then you have a uh, preset an output and an in inverted output okay so the uh, the clear and the preset they're active low so they they are become active when they, they when you have a low on here when these are grounded so we're going to keep these up to five volts okay so they won't be uh, in play there and then we have uh, the, the data and the clock are both going to ground with a 10k resistor to keep them low and then we have a couple switches here to to bring them high so when we want to clock in uh, data we can uh, uh, put our data down and then put and then hit the clock and then we'll clock in the data there and then on the output we have your your output here and then we have your uh, inverted output here this one happens to be the outputs green and I put the inverted output is going to be red and I use the 1k resistor because um, these things can handle a lot of uh, a lot of power so now right now the uh, the green lights on so the output is on and if we want to uh, clear that bring that output back to the uh, inverted output we just take our uh, our preset our clear and we put that to ground and then I'll put that back to to high again okay now we're we're uh, the the output is off and we have our inverted output and we, if we want to just uh, force it the output on we can take the preset and ground that and that forces the the output on okay so those that's how those two pins work um, we're going to keep them high okay so that they're they're not in play anymore and then right now we have the output is on and the uh, the data is 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 low going through the 10k so if i hit the clock it's going to go to the inverted output so there we go we're over at the inverted output the red one now to make the uh, put uh, a bit back in the uh, in the output we have to turn the uh, put the data in the data is hot now it's live and then we we clock that in so now we have our data over there so that's how the that's how the chip works okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put together I put together a, uh, a binary counter okay here's the here's the binary counter here so I'll put that up up there so on the binary counter we're using both the uh, both of the the, uh, the flip-flops okay and the same thing we're taking our uh our, our clear and our preset we're going to keep those high and same down here on this one here we're going to keep those high make those they're, they're not going to be active okay and then the uh the data and the clocks are both uh, grounded through this 10k resistor keep those both low there and then uh, the clock we're going to put the clock in with a uh, we're going to use a Schmidt trigger to uh, so that we have a nice uh, uh, pulse going into it. Uh, if the switch bounces at all, you're going to uh, just trigger that clock a bunch of times. So we need to have some kind of a, a debouncing switch in there. Okay. So uh, now what we do is we take the uh, from the uh, inverted uh, output, we take that and we tie it to to D to the data right there. Okay. So when it's inverted output is 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 live then d is going to be live okay and then we take that and we bring that up to the clock on the the next uh our next flip-flop up here okay so that those uh the uh inverted output is tied to the uh, data and that's tied into the clock on the next uh, the next unit up there okay and then for the leds here these two leds they're both green leds and one is tied to uh, the output of of this uh, flip-flop and the other one's tied to the output of this flip-flop here okay so now if we we turn this on and now we're going to clock in every time i if i hit it once we have one this is a one and this is a two here there's a binary and i hit it again this is two so now we have two hit it one more time now it's three two and three uh, two and one is three so uh, and then one more time it'll go to zero now if I had more chips here I could uh, count e I could count up higher I could count up to you know 16 if I wanted to or so here we are one two and three so one 
there. That's three. One, two, three. So it's working. It's a binary counter. And that's how you hook up a binary counter. I'll leave this, uh, the diagram here in the, uh, I'll leave a link to it in the notes. Okay. But uh, pretty simple. And these are pretty useful little chips. Uh, uh, so um, they're, and they're, they're, these are fairly common uh, chips. So, but yeah, it works good. One, two, three, and then back to zero. And I could add more, uh, more chips on here. So that's your, uh, your binary counter. Uh, thank you.